that's what he thinks about that. Oh, you two people. We are making homemade breakfast burritos. And I thought I would film it to just show you guys what to do. Uh, this is our first time doing it as well, so it'll either be good or it'll be a fail. Nothing's ever a fail. So we're putting, um, we're doing it with eggs and sausage and onion. Wrap it up in a tortilla with cheese. But kind of try it, what? I'm kind of copying McDonald's, kind of, sort of. Exception yeah. of the green peppers, or the green and red peppers. It's not really a copy. Everybody makes it. Okay. It's not. Breakfast burritos are not a pri 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 proprietary product. Can't patent burritos. I don't suppose you could. Well, it's the first time we've ever tried it. And I mean, with these as well, you can do a whole bunch and freeze them. You can make them up and freeze them. Or you can just put them in the microwave and when you're on to go, which I do want to do that. have salsa to put in them. I like salsa in my burritos, personally. I'm not having burritos, I'm making an omelet. I'll show you what he makes. We'll, uh, we'll show you both, but right now he's doing that, cutting the sausage up in chunks, putting them in the pan with butter. Now you can also take the casings off if you want. It's up to you. And this is breakfast sausage. I suppose you can use uh, regular sausage. You can well use any type of sausage you want, really, whatever. I mean. Or if you wanted to put like regular bacon or bacon, email, bacon. bacon, which we have in right now. Which is actually right here. Which I roasted in the oven. Yeah, that would roast that in the oven for like what an hour or something like that. Um, it more? was still slightly frozen, so a couple hours. Yeah. Um, normally I just cut them up and fry them, but because it was frozen, I did it in the oven. We use using these eggs. Got like eighteen of them. Cut up. Onion, onion, you always love the onion. Onion! If you ever just need a good cry, get an onion. Yeah. <clears throat> I love onions and everything. I'm sure there's probably people that are What are you doing to the onion? Cut the onion out. Everybody. Little onion or nice slices of onion. Everybody has their own different ways of doing it. They need to make smell a vision. Hi, Buzzy. Rounding up that sausage. Yeah, baby. Yummy, yummy. Oh, oh. And because we have picky little monsters, we got pizzas in the oven and some Yeah. Get the eggs prepared. So we're putting the onions in. The eggs. Almost done. Yummy. So that was four four eggs and how much onion did you cut up? A whole cut bit. a whole onion, but I didn't put all in there. I just put a mm -hmm. sprinkling. So depending on how many you want, we got the um, bigger tortillas just because. I mean, why not? And you can wrap these up 
you're supposed to wrap them a certain way for them to be completely closed in. So, now Portia to do that. Well, I still lay four eggs for myself for two burritos, um, but depending on how many people you have doing it. The best part you do is make your eggs in the pan after your bacon or your sausage. All the flavor is so good. So good. Well, and why waste another pan, right? <laughs> Well, okay, let's just say you got one dish for that, one dish for that, one dish and a spoon for that, and then pretty much just um, what we use for plates, and it's not very many dishes at all. And... You want to grate the cheese up? Sure. And it's not very expensive either. So, yeah, if you guys want a uh, really low-cost dinner, then this is it. Like, the onion was a dollar... The eggs are like, what, $4? The sausage for all of that is like $4. And yeah, so basically in the tortillas, so I'd say probably around a $15 dinner that can actually, you might have you leftovers. feed lots, like, I mean, you could feed probably 10 people. Yeah. Like, or more. Well, there's, yeah, so there's 10 tortillas, there's like 18 eggs, and quite a bit of breakfast sausage so yeah if you guys want something cheap and tasty and filling then yeah this is it so I grate the cheese on a plate and then I put it in the bowl I find it works so much better I don't know kind of like a little hack it doesn't make as much of a mess so go ahead and grate this now So all the access cheese just gets on the plate. So we got the cheese all ready to go. We have the cut up onion in here, the sausage, and the eggs and the uh, onion ready to go. We'll wait another few minutes while the hash browns finish up and we'll check back in with you after that. And we are back to the next segment of our cooking video. So we do have some pretty good size uh, tortillas for our burritos. and doing his own omelet now and you're what putting eggs and onions in yours too and cheese something like that something like that okay i guess we'll both find out gotten a little cold over the time. We got the egg, uh, sausage, and onion mixture in there. 
We might have quite a bit of leftovers of that. I don't think we're going to eat all that tonight. Alright. So, we've eaten all the yummy goodness on the tortillas. That looks really good already. There might be too you much. might have to roll that and then let me do put it on the other one. Okay. So let's sprinkle a little bit of shredded cheese on top. And then what I'm going to do is take a spoonful of salsa and put it on as well. That's kind of how we got it wrapped up. But they are definitely pretty big, so I would suggest, like, if you want to use the smaller tortillas, probably oh, only two, eggs. like, two eggs. But there they are. They're humongous, so this is probably all I'm going to eat. Caramelizing my onions. Softening them up before I put my eggs in with yeah. it to put the, uh, sausage in with them, give them a little heat up and add a little bit of that yummy yummy onion flavor and I'll be pouring my eggs in here shortly. That's the best way to have them in my opinion. But yeah, I tried with the whole rolling up the burritos and I don't know if there's too much in it or what but that's the best it's going to get. That one's like broken open a little bit. Oh well, those still taste good anyway. So how many eggs did you do? I did four. Okay, so four eggs for this as well. The rest of the sausage, the rest of the onion, and still got a whole bunch of cheese, which you will use. I will use. Female bacon cut up, that looks so good. Probably gonna have quite a bit of leftovers. What I'm doing here is just breaking some spots to let some of the liquid egg through so that it uh, cooks up. And I'll show you what happens when you do an omelet. If, if it works, sometimes they don't work out, but it'll still be delicious. These two are eating pizza out here. Where's your pizza? Oh, okay. Sprinkle in some cheese. Oh, you can't have an omelet without oh cheese. And he like, I feel like I he cheese. overdoes it with the cheese, but. Oh. And that, folks, is how you rock the omelet. Lovely cheese. I don't know if my lid's gonna go on. Gonna be kind of, yeah, well, just not when you put about the lid. And we set it up this side. Let it melt. Let that get yummy. Oh, okay, I have a little bit cheesy. Oh. <laughs> I love cheese. 
It's an addiction. And she's let the world even die. I would. I would be so sad. <laughs> it would be destructive. Mm-hmm. End of the world as I know it. And I would be sad. Oh, look at those golden brown deliciousness. Mm-hmm. And put them over there. Sea salt, good for you. Better than regular salt. And folks, always season your eggs before you cook them. Even if you're just pan frying your eggs, a little salt, a little pepper, or whatever you want, a little sprinkling of your spice of your life, whatever you desire. Make them yummy, delicious for yourselves. Okay, well, turn that off. I'm going to transfer. Now, folks, you'd probably pay $10, $12 for an omelet like that in, the in your restaurants. Maybe Most more. Likely. Could be more, depending. And, then, and again, that's not expensive because he literally used the leftovers from my stuff to make that. A couple of pieces of yummy pea meal to put on the side. That's delicious. And that's another thing as well. That female bacon we got on sale for well, a three four dollars, and it's a pretty good size one. So it will it would feed quite a bit of people. Okay. So again, if you're on a low budget, watch for that going on sale. Who's done? So there's his final product. His final product looks a lot better than my final product, but. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the cooking video. Um, you didn't see much of me, but I wasn't the one that cooked this time. Hi, everybody. All right, thank you guys for watching. Remember, the giveaway is still going on. Uh, it's going on till the 30th. I'll leave the uh, link to the video down below. But all you have to do is subscribe, comment, like on that video, and you're in the giveaway for the iTunes gift card. So get in on that. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys. Say bye, Booger.